So I went down to the war zone, so to speak, today, you know, down by the Southampton shelter, and uh, they were cleaning out Atkinson Street by having everybody go onto the sidewalk in front of the shelter on Southampton Street. And then they clean up the whole road, throw everything out, and they let everybody go back and set up all their tents and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I was trying to, like, help the Boston Public Health Commission workers to clean up and move things and whatnot. And I was approached by just this random guy. And uh, he ended up being an aide for the mayor. And he told me that he had actually, like, heard about what I was trying to do. And, like, he knew the name of, uh, you know, my little outreach organization that I'm trying to put together. And uh, we started talking. And I told them, like, you know, I was in a halfway house and things didn't work out. And I'm still unemployed and not being able to get a job. You know, I ended up getting me kicked out of the house. And that I'm now in Pine Street Inn in the homeless shelter still trying to do this. I have to wait till December, uh, November 22nd before I can get my new mass state ID and then hopefully be able to either get one of the jobs that I was already <clears throat> trying to get that told me to come back with a new ID or possibly get a new job. Uh, I started applying to uh, a place called Block by Block and they actually have like, you could be a tea ambassador, you know, little red jackets when you first get to a tea stop. Or, you know, show you how to use the, uh, the machines to buy tickets and, like, how to get to where and whatnot. But there's a lot of, like, cleaning slash kind of sort of landscaping type jobs where it's more or less just cleaning up, you know, all this stuff on the ground in a certain area and, like, you know, just being helpful toward, you know, that piece of land in the city, whether it's Boston or Cambridge, that's where most of the jobs are at. And, you know, he was like, I don't know, I don't want to say like amazed, but like that's like how he was acting, you know. He said he feels like a lot of people, if they uh, end up in the type of position that I was in, they instantly go back to like, you know, using and running the streets and everything. But I'm just at that point where I'm so fed up that I don't want to do that. So he gave me his uh, cell phone number and he gave me his email and uh, he wants me to you know, put in information with them about what it's like down there. Because every time that they have somebody that's, uh, you know, out there and active and everything, still using, because they don't really get any good information out of them, that they feel as though the person is basically just trying to find a way to get some money or free stuff or whatever out of them which like I, I understand how you know they may feel that way and how the people from the street may be, might be doing stuff like that I don't really know but like basically what I'm doing right now is trying to show what is going on with this situation for my own life but also showing what it's really like to be out there because like I've said before you only see on the news what they want to tell you on the news and uh it's always you know only little pieces of what's going on out there it's not the entire reality so i don't know i made a like a joking type suggestion about you know them hiring me to you know lead like a renegade street outreach team which is uh it's worked in the past there's been other times when i've been clean and sober and I lived in a sober house in Dorchester, and sometimes I would just go down there with two or three of my friends, and we try to, like, talk people into going to detox and tell them, you know, if you go, you know, we'll buy you cigarettes and, you know, whatever you're allowed to have there, we'll help you with that stuff. If you need some clothes, we'll help you with that kind of stuff. And a few times it's worked where we've been able to get people to go, but obviously it's not going to work every time, so... It's not that it's impossible, it can be done, but a lot of people, they're not gonna go until they're ready to go. Yeah. It's like once the pain is like unbearable and there is no bottom left. So, I don't know, hopefully this ends up being a good connection that's helpful with the whole organization 
part of everything that I'm trying to do right now. And uh, hopefully I'll be starting work at one of these jobs soon because whew, this whole ID situation with the registry has just been ridiculous. You know, I mentioned that to the mayor's aide and, you know, he wasn't exactly like, oh man, I can help you with that right now, you know, which would have been nice, but it is what it is. Like, at the end of the day, like, all the problems that I have come back to me. And then there's been times where, like, I got the education on how things were going to go if I continued on in a certain direction. And I just didn't care. And I kept doing exactly what I'm not supposed to do. And uh, a lot of those times, like, for me, it was like the hole was so deep that there wasn't a ladder that I could get that was tall enough to climb out of the hole. But hopefully now, with some changes in uh, my personal life and the way that things work around homelessness and recovery. If, uh, once I get a job, I can get a room to rent. Once I have a room to rent and save some money, I can get my license back. And I'll hopefully get to that point of buying a vehicle and an equipment, I, like an equipment trailer, and being able to keep all my tools with me and start doing jobs for people. You know, then do it the legal route with insurance and all that fun stuff. But for now, this is what I'm concentrating on is number one is getting back into work and back into, you know, a solid place to live. And then the other thing that I've been putting my focus on outside of that is this. And uh, I don't spend all day, you know, making videos to upload them. Um, I really don't even like to try to upload stuff unless I'm somewhere with a really good Wi-Fi source. It seems like Twitter really never uploads anything. It always ends up failed, but everything else seems to work. Don't know why that is, but like right now I'm going to the Boston Public Library where I know I'll have uh, you know really good Wi-Fi strength and be able to upload some videos. So see how that goes and uh, hopefully all this stuff starts to come together uh, I hope to see anybody that watches these videos on Saturday November 19th be leaving at 10 a.m. to walk from Andrew Square down to Harrison Ave and back uh, just to show people that there are groups of people in recovery that have been down there that have done all that stuff down there and managed to get themselves back up and out of that hole and are moving forward in life. Just trying to get it together. That's all. Have a great day.